ready, I'll begin. Okay, sorry, are you gonna answer me the question? Yeah, answer I'll me. ask you the question. Okay, all right. Is my bump symmetrical? Yeah, I can totally do this. Yeah. Got it. How am I looking? Am I, do I have good, I have horrible posture, so. What attracted you to work with Premier Medical Staffing Services? So, what attracted me to work with Premier Medical Services? Okay, you said the name wrong. <laughs> Damn it, okay. <laughs> um, I feel that Premier, um, I'll guess they're over. <laughs> I think I'll start this. Um, and my uh, growing relationship with Premier um, basically got me to uh, quit my previous job and start the... And actually my very first interview was like a spa day for them. So <laughs> what attracted me most with Premier... Um, let's start over. I should have stopped after like my first bit. What top three skills or qualities do you think you bring to the table as a client manager? And what top three skills or qualities do you believe you bring to the table as a recruiter? I wish you would have sent me these questions before. I did send the questions, and of Michael. Of course you did, because I, <laughs> I definitely read them. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> we're going to be in here forever. Never... Um, Gosh, can I start over? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. So as, um... so as a credentialing specialist, um, what top three skills or qualities do you believe that you bring into that role? As a scheduling? No. That's not what you're anymore. <laughs> that's not it. That's my old job. So. What three skills or qualities do I bring? Uh, The three skills that I bring to the table is I'm um, reliable, um, shoot. Attention to detail. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. <laughs> skills that I believe that I bring into the community engagement, community, and community yeah. engagement committee. Let's start off. Yeah. <laughs> I think that um, I really, okay, sorry. I need to start again. First okay, and well, foremost, yeah, we're starting with volleyball. Alright? <laughs> gotta respect my skills in the court. I really love dogs. But God, I ruined it at the end! <laughs> I love dogs, all dogs. I love dogs. If you could turn any activity at all into an Olympic sport, what do you think you'd have a pretty good chance at winning a medal for? Can we do this one last? Sure. Still brainstorming. I am a beast at crocheting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Taking pictures of my dogs. Um. Um. I take more pictures of my dogs than my kid. Being able to, well, watching sports. I should turn swearing into <laughs> an Olympic sport because I love to say the F word. <laughs> And besides beer pong, now, I'm a mom now, so I don't do beer pong anymore, but back in the day, I was really good at beer pong. Probably gonna go with peanut butter eating. For sure. Yeah. And could you meet that? Oh, so for sure. Work. I really like knitting. It's a nerdy old oh, thing. thing. There's so much math. It's amazing. What are you most looking forward to in the next five years, either personally or professionally? Pass. That answer is not going on. <laughs> that was a bad one. You, know. you can exit that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't want that answer. I want to try again. Um, what is the best piece of advice that you've ever received? The best piece of advice I ever received was um, just chuck it in the f bucket. No, I'm just kidding. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So the best piece of advice that you have ever received. Hold on, let me start over. I don't know, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. 
I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> this piece of advice that I ever received is um, patient. I don't, I have one, but I hate to use it. Um, get out while the getting out is still good. Oh. But well, what? <laughs> Two. Why am I still talking? <laughs> I had it before I came in here. Um, being or learning. There you go. There you go. Sweet. Perfect. You're done. Oh my god. That was it. Wow, oh, I don't like being on this side. It's way better over there. <laughs>